Hey, mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah! That'll be inside. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. Not here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm old Geert. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. You? Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> You're all all geared, that it? Got it right, at last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? Not laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. <laughs> nope. I'm the one got his fists. Right in with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Old Geard, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri school. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. 
The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgierd. Long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. Is some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Down she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss papers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it, then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabres. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss people. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square! 
Why, Smells of... Uh, they were cooking Fistech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. True as true can be. Dangerous trade narcotics. Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Stopped here for a second, hid, then ran on. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting? Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two... Got a better idea. You're all gonna count to a hundred. Got it? Three, four, five, six... Great start. Now step aside. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, ten, ten. Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. 
We're supposed to defend the downtrodden, spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colours. And we must find a new place in this world. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would... But how do you even... I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jacques de Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning of cursed mutants. Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Why there? What for? Life kick you in the ass. Had enough. Terrible beast prowls the sewers down that way. Best of all, you want to get. Oh, no, you don't. Hear me. Don't you dare. Shani, calm down. He's dead. I'm sure 
Something can be done. Let it go. Damn it! All for nothing. You did all you could. Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh... Good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short, I've been treating the sick and wounded as always, mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times as well. I'll want to hear the long story long too. Sure. But uh, once we're out of these sewers... Redanian army force you to come here too? Or are you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Narls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. What attacked you? Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. Spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Redanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Grating's badly bent. Something large struck it, with a lot of momentum. I shut it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? Actually, just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. Careful. Monster might still be here. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern, Miklas. Oh, poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well. Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us, and paid dearly for it. Managed to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. 
I didn't get a good look, no. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Gotta look around. Man you patched up, is he here? Franz? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. At least probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. Lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. Geralt! Are you alright? I'm fine. Ah, I can't get down here. I'll look for something else. Be careful. Oh, come on! I told you, Vern had a key to the grate. Look, it's Franz. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? Mm, flowers. Does that mean anything? Well, means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Hmm. Interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look. Half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Are you suggesting the beast likes alcohol? Mm hmm. Mixed with blood. Doubt we'll learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. Johnny, watch out! Move! corpse soaked in slime beast must have left it for later Get out. 
futile effort. Another unfortunate romantic came to lift a prince's curse, found a hideous death instead. Loads of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. Dead drowners everywhere. Strange. Seems the monster tolerated them. As long as they don't get too close, I guess. Layers gotta be nearby. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom in, once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But... No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
Gadarash I'll root. What's going on? Ah, he's finally come to. And he can speak human, turns out. Started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way, except maybe with my reflection in the piss bucket. Where... where am I? On the Albatross, or the Fuck Barthoil, as their strange tongue has it, en route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed their prince. Damn it, I don't remember a thing. Just some sewers, giant toad, and some boots. If that toad was their prince, guess I'm lucky to be alive. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wager their honor, or that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. And who might you be? Felipe Calagrand, at your service. Petty thing, professional fate. And your guide about Oxenford. What a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwen. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. We been at sea long? Uh, Dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand, but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not. Black horses with white stripes? Nay. Black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. Can teach you something that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakal Sorkan! Galavat Kar U Albata again! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Valar! Karvarefaner! You'd be dead already. Revhagar ne Aram e Kar! Dorgate ye Alami! We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Valf Alache Ul Igulath. What? Elkal! Valf. Valf Alache Il Echali. Elkal. Inkal Aver Ikel Ugaherev and Ulvita. Inch Aver Goliath. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang in two weeks. Then, he added something like, We'll see who's in the mood for jokes then. Why? What did I say? That you wanted his auntie's hat. And that was the gist of your road. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice, like them fish. 
Was it the cold? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, oh, there's this mercenary with him. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Gaunter Odin. Known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. I haven't tried it yet. Hmm. Doesn't look promising. Not unlike your situation. I could try to extract you from here, you know. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Oh, never like boats. Not one bit. They heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be primed to sleep through the whole thing. Didn't bargain for no storm. I fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we're doing with the other? The other drought. We could do nothing. We deliver live this one. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. What kind of hell? Harry, slaying, and water. This is for regicide and legs.
I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans? Elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this'll interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. What did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. And above all, I offer a great and true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. There was a light drizzle. Yet the cold tore right through you. Olgier had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact, and that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. 
What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Holgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us, yet we won't know what they are until we see him. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. <laughs>